Now, guys, if I could like to know, maybe I just might back in and have a very Wednesday. Now, I'm going to vlog a vlog for the next 10 minutes or so. About 10 of the best Blu rays of all time, okay? With it says 10 of the best Blu rays of all time. Here we go, back, relax. To vlog a vlog, 10 of the best Blu ray movies, Blu ray quality movies of all time. Here we're going to go. Seriously, I want to talk a little bit about audiovisual entertainment seriously about this today because I've got a lot of Blu-rays, so we're about 200, 300 Blu-rays of movies and films for the last uh, 50 years basically. And some of the Blu-rays are fantastic seriously. And I want to talk, I want to talk a little bit also about magic as well seriously, magic as well on uh, Blu-ray and DVD as well seriously. I want to go on the Copperfield seriously, I want to get some Copperfield uh, DVDs and stuff. The Copperfield shows are really good quality, they're actually pretty good quality on YouTube right now. You can actually get Copperfield shows on DVDs and this. The DVDs have been a little bit old actually, about 10, 15 years old. DVDs are Copperfield Illusion and this is another one here which is Copperfield, Magic Copperfield 3 which is Copperfield, I think it's maybe basic in China probably I think actually. These uh, DVDs are really really good and these DVDs actually just DVD quality about 2000s kind of quality 15 20 years old but these dvds have a lot of magic on them if you can't actually get the magic shows on, on youtube these dvds really good quality the picture's really really good actually seriously and to get the dvds really good deed i think there's about four or five of these dvds i think they're on ebay and on amazon as well i think on ebay seriously check them out get these dvds they're covered illusion okay which is really good as well david Copperfield 3 and 2 and 1 i think it is these are dvd box sets of magic and Liverpool over 20 years 1979 to 1995 uh, or so i think it is and they're really good really good box sets of dvds quality is pretty good better than the youtube quality so if you're not really happy with the youtube quality of the dvds of the of these shows, Godfield shows, and they're fantastic shows, believe me. Look at check, check me with the other, seriously. Um, and obviously, get yourselves on, on, off, off on YouTube and get yourselves on DVDs, you know, DVD player or PS4, whatever you've got, basically. Check these out. These are really great DVDs of Godfield shows, 18 shows or so of Magic Illusion from the best, 80s and 90s, the best era of Magic Illusion on television around the world. Seriously, check these out, seriously. Let's have, let's have a look at also a little bit at some top audiovisual as well, audiovisual kind of uh, media data. And I love Blu ray. I love DVD and Blu-ray. Now DVD obviously is paid out. Blu-ray is the thing nowadays, of course. 4K Blu-ray is even better nowadays, of course. 4K DVD, 4K Blu-ray is really, really expensive. It's about 20, 20 dollars, 20 pound a pop, isn't it, for 4K Blu-ray, and they're quite expensive. However, regular Blu-rays, like these regular Blu-rays, are kind of really, really good, okay. And you get the store, they're about four or five pounds, about ten, seven, eight dollars, and they're really fantastic, okay. And you get the these quality is really, really great. Seriously, Blu-rays from the, even 10, 15 years ago, Blu-ray is really good. And I have got, I've got about a ten or fifteen of these to, to, to recommend to you in terms of picture quality. Well, seriously, the best thing with Blu ray is to have a, have, a, have a really good television like a 4K Blu ray, a 4K Blu ray player, or regular Blu ray player, or PS4 or Xbox One X kind of, kind of player, okay, to watch Blu rays on, okay, all right. Uh, and also, it's generally better than streaming as well. Normally, Blu ray is still really good, at least it's better than streaming, seriously, okay, we've got Netflix and kind of stuff, okay. Also, it's, it's a really good television as well. I've got a, a beautiful 4K 55, 60 inch television, okay? So I recommend those seriously. Get some really good television set, like a, spend a few hundred dollars, whatever it is, or pounds on a really good uh, TV set, okay? Uh, 4K TVs are really brilliant nowadays. Get one of those and get some, you know, all kinds of shoppers, you know, uh, covers, all kinds of places sell them seriously, and they're really fantastic, fantastic TVs. But generally in the UK, uh, you can go on Amazon, that kind of stuff, and get these kind of really cheaper Blu-rays, and the quality is still really, really good, seriously, okay? Particularly if you're them on a 4K TV, Okay, so moving on. So this this one the first. This is Blade Runner. Blade Runner was uh, forty years old film, nine eighty two, wasn't it? This is a great, great, great movie. Of course, one of the best movies of all time. Seriously, I've seen it many, many times. Okay, it's a influenced me a lot. Made by the great Ridley Scott, Mer British director Ridley Scott, of course. This this is a great Blu Ray. Okay, I want to see great Blu Ray on a four K television. Pop this Blu Ray, PS4, whatever, with your soundbar, whatever you've got. Okay, and watch it on your four K TV because this looks stunning. Even a cheap Blu Ray, like this is five quid. Okay, looks stunning. Seriously, okay. The four K one's even better, but this is a really great picture. Okay, check this out. So this this is the this is the regular Blu Ray of Blade One. Okay, a Star Wars, all that kind of stuff. A Rock and Howard kind of stuff. Great film, poetic film, beautiful visuals, of course. Uh, cityscapes, futuristic Hong Kong, kind of a urban jungle kind of stuff. Neon, cityscape, amazing music by Vangelis. Okay. 
and the sound speaker is amazing on this okay it's got amazing audio as well i think it's got it's got um superb audio as well on this it won't go on the audio but it's fantastic okay and um dts got a mix that's got on this as well so check this one out blue where i recommend it absolutely wholeheartedly they run it on on regular blu-ray or 4k blu-ray it's fantastic okay and this is an outstanding disc it's really it's pretty dimensional a lot of depth a lot of darkness okay beautiful colors popping out colors beautiful faces poor skin really fantastic seriously so check it out seriously okay check out your system get your system pumped up your sound and also audio vision as well uh, particularly we've got a really good telly again of course is the blue ray of skyfall okay the skyfall blue ray this is like this film's about uh, 9 10 years old isn't it blade runner, blade runner was 40 years old okay this film's only 10 years old isn't it uh, 2012 great movie okay because it's a really good film fun movie one of the best doing bomb movies of all time is of course skyfall with daniel um daniel daniel what's his name again i can't his name now daniel craig that's it yeah i saw him once in the flash of london once actually in the west end do it going to a gig basically going to a show or something but it's a really really amazing um uh, blu-ray again this quality of blu-ray is outstanding okay it's a regular five pound blu-ray i put it on your 4k tv pop it in your player pop it in your ps4 whatever watch it on your tv this is a, again amazing picture crystal clear picture beautiful depth colors lighting okay and beyond to okay, the soundtrack really amazing as well the depth's amazing actually almost three dimensional seriously and this is just a regular blu-ray okay if you never check this stuff out check this stuff out seriously trust me this will look amazing in the tv set and this is skyfall okay 2012 okay great movie again daniel craig okay one of probably the best of james bond films 25 james bond films about james bond this is still a really great, great film scene. The night shots are fantastic. Neil's fantastic, okay. The lighting's fantastic, okay. There's some, uh, night shots as well. Shots of Scott at the end of the, end of the, of the Broadway as well. When he has that fight, doesn't he? With Julie Dench kind of stuff and that bloke, doesn't he? At the end of the film, okay. I can't remember it all now. But it's a really good film. And I love these shots in Scotland. It looks really fantastic. I think it was actually, it wasn't film. I think it was shot in Surrey, actually, believe it or not. Seriously. And they used special computer plating to make the film look like it. Look at like it's filmed in Scotland, okay. It's good stuff, isn't it? But it's a really good movie, Skyfall. And the DVD is fantastic. It's brilliant, okay. There's the Blu-ray is semi fantastic. The DVD isn't so good. Blu-ray, fantastic. 4K Blu-ray, also fantastic. I don't know if it's, if it's been released quite on 4K yet, but it is definitely on Blu-ray. This is another one, okay, we're picking some other recent films. This, this is another recent film. This is 2019's Was Skywalker. Great film again, seriously, from the uh, Disney scale, of course. Disney, of course, bought um, uh, Star Wars in 2012, 2013, didn't they? And they bought the whole Star Wars caboodle, didn't they, for four billion quid, apparently. Uh, four billion dollars, was it, I think? And they bought uh, Rose Gorka, basically, as you can see over here. And all, all basically the whole uh, stuff, basically, from Star Wars, the original three films from the 1980s, the prequels from 2000s, and the new films they made in the last five years, okay? I like the, I like all the films. I like online films, seriously. Um, this, th I won't go into that right now about that. I do particularly like um, the original trilogy of the 1980s, of course. I love that. And the, the original film of 1977. However, uh, Star Wars, Rose Gorka is the best, I think, personally, of the, of, the, of the sequels that came out the last five years from the Disney stable, okay? And Disney have not really done any originality in it particularly they have copied the copied a lot of the old school stuff but it's still pretty good okay this film is spectacular it shows off your, your blu-ray really 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 good this is blu-ray again not the 4k some 4k as well obviously the blu-ray is only about 10 quid i think basically 10 pound or 10 dollars whatever it looks fantastic okay the film is amazing a good film a spectacular film okay as usual as i said before it looks fantastic uh plays fantastic okay the sounds fantastic again the uh, dimensionality is good the depth is good the colors are good the neon colors pop out again really well okay uh the textures are fantastic the pores and skin the, the surfaces look fantastic again as usual um the audio mix is fantastic the amount of ships on the screen at the end of the, of the climax of the film there's about a thousand ships on, on screen this film the end of the film seriously and the emperor as you know probably lets out a huge bottle of lightning up in the sky and pulls all the ships down and everything else doesn't he see the film you've got to see the film seriously the second half of this film was spectacular it's spectacular it will touch the system out seriously pop in your 4k telly on your blu-ray player 4k blu-ray player. we've got Check this Blu-ray in, okay? It looks fantastic, seriously, okay? And that's just the Blu-ray looks fantastic, okay? It really does. 4K goes up a notch. 
But this does look really good, even for just for a 10 quid, basically, is what it costs. But it's an amazing looking film. I love the end with uh, the fight between Ray and um, and the other guy, Kylo Ren, and the Emperor at the end of it. It's really good indeed. Very satisfying kind of popcorn cinema, isn't it? Okay. Spectacular set, spectacular lighting, spectacular ambience, uh, spectacular soundtrack as well. Rise of Skywalker is a textbook, well made uh, Star Wars movie, seriously. Even though it's not that original, okay, is it really? But it's, it's very impressive. Okay, this is another, this is about five six years old. This is Scarlett Johansson from, of course, Ghost in the Shell. This came out about five six years ago, 2014, I think it is. No, 2017 actually. Sorry, uh, this is a Blade Runner kind of copy, of course, because it looks an awful lot like Blade Runner. Beautiful sort of uh, visual cityscapes kind of stuff as well. Neon again. There's amazing shots with that where the camera flies over the whole of the city in this in the early part of the movie, and you see a futuristic city, like again a, a Blade Runner kind of futuristic kind of Hong Kong mess. You know what I mean? Uh, a, a city completely turned into a, a humble bumble jumble mess, basically of neon. Colours and lighting, lots of blues, lots of uh, pinks, lots of greens in this movie. Looks amazing. You saw how handsome as well, it? seriously. That's Ghost in the Shell. It's not the best movie in the world as a movie, but it's a very impressive uh, Blu ray. It's quite dimensional again, very impressive sound again, razor sharp imagery. It looks amazing. The imagery is really beautiful as well. There's lots of artistic imagery in this film as well, seriously. Whether, it, whether you don't like the plot or not, the plot's a bit confusing towards the end. But it looks fantastic, I recommend it totally. This is Starlight like Scarlet Hansen, a stunning quality, just a regular cheap Blu-ray will look great in a teddy, seriously, okay? So this is it, this is uh, Ghost in the Shell, Scarlet Hansen, 2017. Blade Runner rip-off, but it's still very good indeed, okay? Not as good as Blade Runner, of course, but it's pretty good, seriously, okay? What else, I've well, got this one here, I mean, I've got 10, 10, this is a year old, or say, a six months old. This came out in the middle of the pandemic, 2020. Uh, obviously, the cinema audiences didn't go to see it because they couldn't go and see it, basically, because obviously, as you know, the situation got pretty bad, didn't it, during the pandemic, and obviously, around the whole world, people didn't go see the movie. However, this is by uh, a bloke, of course, called, um, uh, what's his name again? Christopher Nolan, that's his name again, Christopher Nolan. He's made many, many movies, The Dark Knight, of course, he's made, um, Inception, he's made a seller, which is the best of all Tom, my opinion. Check it out as well. The Blu ray of that is good, it's not as good as this Blu ray, I've got to say. Uh, this Blu ray tenet came out obviously six months ago or so, and it looks amazing, seriously. The film's amazing. I uh, love the feel of the film. It's quite a weird film, seriously. The soundtrack's a bit weird. The, with the actual, um, the actual, uh, uh, sort of the, the vocab, the actual um, audio bit is a bit garbled, seriously. But that's done a purpose, I think, seriously. It's messing your mind up a little bit. The soundtrack's amazing, though, seriously, overall. The, it's kind of like a synth sound, synthesized soundtrack on it. Um, it looks fantastic. The film's got amazing depth and depth dimensionality. And this is the Blu ray again. This is not the 4K. Blu ray looks stunning, seriously. Chuck this in the player, put it on your 4K TV, put it in your PS4, watch it on your 4K TV. It looks great, seriously. And it's a really amazing film. It's, it's, it's dynamic and fascinating, exciting, uh, you know, exhilarating at times. The depth is amazing, it's three dimensional, it's amazing, the colours are amazing, the, the textures, the people's skins, the uh, textures are amazing, the detail as well, seriously. The sea looks amazing in the middle of the film, there's a bit in the middle of, I think, Portofino, beautiful bit in the ocean ships in the ocean and kind of ships chasing each other in the middle of the sea the ski looks sky looks beautifully blue the sea looks amazing blue seriously colors are amazing and the texture is amazing the soundtrack's amazing this is a textbook disc this is one of the best numbers in my life tenet came out six months ago or so on blu-ray just get the blu-ray if you can't afford the, the, the 4k get the blu-ray for about 10 quid or five five dollars whatever it is basically get all of this tenet crystal Nolan. okay it's by it's got um Amazing people in it as well, seriously, good actors in it as well, particularly, I think, Kenneth Branagh's in it, Michael Caine's in it, and so on. But I love the film, okay? I love the bit beginning where everyone's asleep, basically, in that big theatre. And the camera goes round and round. Dimensionality is amazing. You would feel like you're actually in the picture, actually the guys in the room, seriously, you know what I mean? Oh, 
Oh, okay, on to an old and golden. It's an old and golden, okay. This, so, obviously, recent speed racing is really good. This is an old and golden. This is uh, 13 years ago. This is Speed Racer. It came out 13 years ago. A lot of people in the Blu ray fan base love this film. Okay, this is a regular Blu ray. It's cost me about five pounds, seriously, five quid. It looks really amazing, seriously. But of course, it's Speed Racer. It was a bit knocked back in the cinema in 2008. It's actually super. The Blu ray is fantastic, seriously. Popping the TV again. This looks amazing, okay. The colours are saturated. Beautiful colours. It's a dazzling to see it. It's, it's quite dimensional as well. I think dimensional as well, seriously. Dimensionality really as well. You can see. Uh, like the raceway is quite dimensioning from your eyes. It looks really good, so check it out. This is Speed Racer. Uh, it's created by the, by, the, by the guy, I think it's been created by the guys, I can't remember the name actually, but Jujitsky is called, isn't it? I think they're called, oh, that's called, the Wachowski's, they're called, the guys, Larry and uh, Andy Wachowski. I think they both had a sex change, haven't they, these guys? They were both guys back in 20 years ago when they made the Matrix, okay, now they become ladies, I think. But anyway, this is amazing stuff, seriously, I do love it. Uh, and uh, the Wachowski brothers did kind of pull it out of the bag with this film, seriously. It looks amazing on Blu ray. Even, I, don't, I don't know if it's on 4K, Blu-ray looks stunning. This is a, this is a textbook quality, uh, certainly Blu-ray, certainly. I would say pretty, pretty much don't demo material, seriously, this Blu-ray, okay? Film's pretty good as well. It's not a boring film, it's actually quite an enjoyable film, actually, so I quite enjoyed it a lot, actually. Recommend it completely, okay? So do check it out, okay? Speed Racer, okay? Um, hasn't got any big stars in it, but the visuals are stunning, seriously. Check it out on your 4K telly, okay? On to a recent one as well, a recent one over here. This is Bad Boys, Bad Boys for Life, of course. This came out a couple of years. This came out about six, four months ago, I think. This film came out in 2020 during the pandemic again. Of course, it was hit by the cinemas. It was released on Netflix, that kind of streaming. However, the Blu-ray is another textbook Blu-ray. Looks, it's amazing, seriously. The nightclub scenes in it are stunning in it, okay? Colours eye popping, seriously. The, the, the blacks are dark and inky. The neon pops out of the, of the, of, into your face, okay? The, the, the acting of Will Smith and and Lawrence is really good dude, seriously. I think her name is, uh, it's really good. Martin Lawrence, that's, that's what the guys in the call send the Coswell Smith as well in it. And it's a really interesting film. It's good as the first two films 20 odd years ago. Bad Boys 1, Bad Boys 2. There's a lot of car chases in this, a little bit of car chasing in this, a bit of nightclub action in this, shoots out. So fantastic bit at the end of the film. But the picture quality of this, this Bad Boys Life is stunning, seriously. Cars cruising on Miami, very Miami vice, you know what I mean, back in the 80s, but the picture quality is better, you know what I mean? Um, beautiful skies, clouds, and beautiful reflection of buildings, what kind of buildings. I like colours popping everywhere in this movie, seriously. Check it out. This is, of course, Bad Boys for Life. Do check that series. Great film, seriously. Uh, with Will Smith, okay. It's not the best one of all time, but it's a very entertaining, a stunning quality, colourful Blu ray, razor sharp imagery, beautiful smoke colours, smoke in different kind of colours popping out, reds, greens, blues. Great film, seriously. Check it out. Love the climax in that big house at the end. Good as well, seriously. I'll tell the film that, okay, no, I don't want to say picking up this on the Blu rays here. We're getting it through Blu rays over here. This one's Aquaman. This came out two years ago, Aquaman 2019. It's a 2018 film. Aquaman Blu ray again, absolutely stunning again as usual. I hope you can see that, okay, Aquaman. It's very good indeed, seriously. Okay, I don't want any reflections on it there. But Aquaman's really good indeed, seriously. I recommend it totally, film. The film is not a bad film, okay. But I've got to say, this is by DC people who make, you know, DC kind of films, you know, Justice League, that kind of stuff. I know you guys out there are experts in this stuff, aren't you? Marvel, DC. I like Marvel, DC, like Star Wars kind of stuff. This, I think it's partly owned. This is not by Disney, is it? This is it. This is, this is a separate company, DC. I'm going to say, however, this film looks amazing. So, the Dimension is amazing. A bit like Tron Legacy. Remember Tron Legacy from 10 years ago? There's that bit of Tron Legacy in this, seriously. Even though it's filmed underwater, there's underwater cities. It's a bit like Star Wars in some ways. There's underwater cities. There's amazing segments of them flying through underwater cities, okay? Through plants and cities. Again, neon colour lights and pink, pinks and purples and blues. Popping out screen, seriously. Dimensionality popping at you, popping out. It's amazing dimensionality, seriously, okay? Soundtrack's good as well, seriously. Films are very enjoyable indeed. Aquaman, okay? It's a stunning Blu ray. This is the Blu ray again. This is not a 4K Blu ray. This is just the Blu ray. And this looks fantastic, seriously. Check it in your, in your big talent TV, 4K TV. You'll be impressed, seriously. It's a ripper from Aquaman, okay? Two years ago, it may not be the best of all time, but it's a very enjoyable film with an awful lot of depth and an awful lot of colour imagery as well. The, uh, the amount of detail in this is stunning, seriously. I've noticed it's the most visually detailed films I've ever seen in my life, seriously. Of course, nowadays with CGI, you do this kind of stuff, can't they? Seriously. Okay, moving on, moving on a bit more. Uh, so now, uh, on here, we also have uh, uh, Transformers. Our Transformers are really good as well. Transformers look really good as well, seriously, on, on uh, Blu ray again. This is a regular Blu ray of 2014. Transformers Age of Extinction again came out six, seven years ago, okay? Again, this one's really good indeed. I've got to say, the film looks absolutely amazing, seriously, on this. This is interesting. This, this came out, I say, 2014, wasn't it? Well, my Michael Bay, Michael Bay, because many, many movies, didn't he? Including, um, well, he's made uh, The Rock, didn't he? Those kind of films back in the day, didn't he? He made Armageddon, doing that kind of movies. He's a bit of a clumsy filmmaker. How he makes movies like uh, Transformers really, really well indeed. 
indeed, seriously. And these films look really fantastic. All five of the films look fantastic. However, this one's really good indeed. The Angel's Lynch, a really good film indeed. 2014, it's about two, two and a half hours long or more than that. It's very long indeed. The detail's amazing. The text to the depth is amazing, seriously. Transformers have that amazing, you know, uh, kind of changing sound, don't they? The audio sounds amazing as well. This is another hardcore, brilliant disc one. Just on Blu-ray, seriously. Check it out. Looks amazing. Colour's amazing. <laughs> What can I say about this film, seriously? It's a lot of transforming, a lot of fighting, a lot of explosions, a lot of car chase, that kind of stuff. A lot of entering the, the ship, of the, of the alien ship in it as well. It looks amazing, that's all I can say, okay? Transformers, interesting, you should check this out. This is a great looking Blu-ray, okay? Soundtrack with the Transformers group as well, seriously, okay? Uh Moving on, okay, so this is a while, okay, we'll pick another couple of films over here that for um, Pure Soil. Right. Apocalypse Now, of course, came out uh, 40 years ago, 1979, of course, looks really good. This, this, this is the actual Blu-ray from this year, actually, 20, I think, sorry, this last year, 2020, 2019, Blu-ray was put into 4K. The 4K with transports put onto Blu-ray. The 4K this and the Blu-ray this is both stunning, seriously. Apocalypse Land looks amazing, seriously. I hope you can see that all right. It looks amazing, okay. There's Willow ticking into the into the pool of water, and below him is the reflection of, of Kurt, of course. Of course, this, this film was written based on the Hearts of Darkness, um, a book by Joseph Campbell Combat from 100 years ago or so. Combat a great writer, wrote Rostromo, wrote many, many, many great uh, books, as you, as you know, seriously, over the years. Uh, I love his I love his books, Combat, okay. This is one of his most popular books, was Heart of Darkness, okay. Have you ever seen Apocalypse Now? See Apocalypse Now, seriously. It's one of the best ones of all time. Probably the, probably the top ten of all time, seriously, okay. Apocalypse Now, seriously, okay. Um, obviously, Martin Sheen's really good in it, of course. Uh, Marlon Brando's really good in it, of course, playing Colonel Kurtz in it as well. Um, the trip is really about a trip down a river, okay. And it's quite psychedelic. The colours of the river change over the film. The, the mentality of the guys change. The faces change over the film. They get painted, that kind of stuff. They end up in a, they end up in a, in a kind of weird French, plant, plant, French plant, plantation, okay, in civilization. And they move from civilization into a really weird jungle environment in the middle of the jungle. We're going to meet Colonel Kurtz, who's a kind of a weird recluse. He's a kind of gone mad, basically. Why has he gone mad? That's the question, isn't it? And then there's a lot of discussion and kind of stuff in there. And then he ends up with, uh, with Sheen, obviously, killing Colonel Kurtz. But, okay, the film, of course... It's a stunning. A lot of people wrote about this film. You can write rooms and rooms about this, this movie, couldn't you? Now it's a great movie of all time. Seriously, the Blu-ray looks amazing. Okay, so it's been sourced from a, a 4K master course. It's been 4K a couple of years ago. So the, this Blu-ray does look really brilliant. Seriously, so all I can say about it, you get this Blu-ray. If you don't want to buy, get the 4K, just 20 odd pound, 30 pound, get yourself the regular five pound, ten pound uh, Blu-ray. This chuck on your 4K TV again with your 4K player, regular player, Blu-ray player, or your PS4, whatever you got, and watch this movie. Check this out. Great film. That's all I can say about it. Much written about Apocalypse Now, but the, it's a psychedelic movie in a way because the colour palette's quite extraordinary, isn't it? And also it's got the best helicopter sequences of all time, seriously, and they're real helicopters, no CGI, real helicopters buzzing around the place, shooting out the old Vietnam, Vietnamese and stuff, you know what I mean, going all down, but it's amazing and heart-wrenching stuff, seriously, okay, it's heart-wrenching but amazing, seriously. The other Blu-rays might have got onto this as well, I won't do too many more Blu-rays, but these are all really good quality Blu-rays. This Blu-ray again, this is uh, Stanley Cooper 2001, okay, so this of course is a great film, about 50 years ago or so, 1960, okay, Stanley Cooper 2001, a great movie, seriously, I love this movie, seriously, okay, recommend it wholeheartedly to you, seriously, without any doubt at all, great movie again, this of course, this came out there, uh, uh, 1968, of course, it's a much loved film, of course, Cuba, one of the best movie makers of all time, he made many, many great movies, my favourite movie is Barry Lyndon, he also made The Shining, many, many great movies, seriously, and of course, 2001, of course, is his, is his baby, isn't it, in a way, because it's the film that's most universal of, it, of all his movies, and also it's Great movie debut. Okay, this Blu-ray looks fantastic. This, this, I think, this was done to 4K about seven or eight years ago, and it's been put on a on a Blu-ray. Okay, so the Blu-ray and the 4K both like, both are really really good. Blu-ray looks amazing, as I say. Check out your 4K TV again. Um, what a film! It's, what can I say about 2001: Space Odyssey? As we said about this film, okay, it's an amazing movie. Uh, what can I say about it? Okay, it's not much. It's it's a movie, yet yeah, not a movie. Okay, it's a concept, you're not a concept. 
the end of the movie has more questions than answers when he travels into the time world in the movie. He came to bring that room, doesn't he, with a great big obelisk in front of him. Not but obelisk, that great big plinth in front of him, basically. The monolith is, that's right, isn't it? And uh, this film's been joked about, it's been laughed at, it's been analysed, it's been criticised. The dawn of man and the monkeys through to the man's future in space and, the, and meeting aliens. You know what I mean? There's a lot of stuff in this movie, seriously. We've never seen 2001, check it out, okay? Uh, so all I can say about this movie, this is a great movie, okay? The, the Blu-ray is fantastic as well. Blu-ray transfer is really detailed. You can actually see the bits, knobs and bits on the ship. You can see bits and pieces in, in the cabin, running, when they're running around the cabin, basically. Inside it, okay, you can see the space looks amazing. The, the circular spaceships look fantastic going round and round and round. The ship entering the spaceship. This is 1968, okay, it looks amazing. Well, I think when they dock in the spaceship early on the movie, um, the, the psychedelic effects in the movie, they can, again, it's quite psychedelic again with the, with the bits flying at you and the, flying at you basically at the end of the movie. It's very psychedelic in a way, isn't it? But it's a very amazing stuff, so check it out. This is 2001 Space, Space Odyssey, one of the greatest of all time, top 10 of all time without a doubt, in my mind, seriously, of all time. 2001 Space Odyssey, great Blu-ray, okay? Blu -ray, not, you will not be uh, let down by this Blu-ray. This Blu-ray is a brilliant detail Blu-ray, so check it out. Do not be sad, do not worry about it. If you can't get the 4K, this is 20, 30 pound, get yourself the, to get yourself the regular Blu-ray. And finally, we'll do one more seriously, uh, maybe that everyone likes. I'll do one more, of course, this, this one's over here. This, of course, is uh, Dark Knight, of course. Dark Knight came out uh, 40 odd years ago. 2008, I think, wasn't it? So this film's a great film, seriously, of course. It's a really lovely movie. I've still got a sticker on there from when I bought this 10 years ago. The Blu-ray's really good. 4K's really good, but obviously everyone's got a 4K. You haven't got the 4K, get yourself the £5, £3 of Blu-ray, this film. Looks amazing and seriously, Dark Knight again. This is with uh, Christian Bell, of course, and Mark Kane, the Heath Ledger, those kind of guys. Gary Oldman as well, seriously. It's a really good movie, okay? It's a little violent, okay, compared to many of the movies I've reviewed. There's some arts quite so violent. This is a really good movie, seriously. Do check it out, I really recommend it, seriously, okay? And again, the picture's beautiful. It's shot on 4K or 6K, I think, back in 19, uh, eight, not 2007, seriously. So, you know, it's 13 years ago. It was actually one of the first films by Chris Nolan to pioneer using kind of 4K and IMAX kind of shooting, seriously. Again, like Aquaman. Aquaman shot a lot in IMAX, which is the reason why it's really good. This shot is IMAX as well, okay? So that's the reason why this, like, Aquaman looked really, really good. Because a lot of, a lot of it's IMAX, okay? So the IMAX scene looks amazing. And this, that it's 13 years old. This film looks amazing, seriously. This is good looking Blade Runner from 1982, uh, which was, I think, Master from a 4K Master, basically, put on a Blu-ray. So I've got to say, anything that's been put on a 4K, put on a Blu-ray, or even on a 4K original transfer will look really amazing, seriously. So this is a dimensional depth. Colours are great. It's quite a dark film. It's blues. The cinematography is fantastic. The, the, the chase of the cars are fantastic through the streets, okay? The way that the, the, the truck flips over is amazing, yeah, okay? We've seen that many when the Joker dives out of the building, basically, or at the end of the film, middle of the film, isn't it? Uh, the run around the big building at the end of the film, okay? All the stuff that goes on the movie, it looks amazing on, on Blu-ray. Check it out. This is a first-class Blu-ray. Check it out. This is the Dark Knight, okay? Uh, Mocha Kane, the logos guys, Christian Bale, the kind of guys from 2008, and it, it was a great film at the time. It's a big, big, big box, box of it. It's thought to be a massive film, seriously. Even today, years later, it's viewed as a great film, seriously. Okay, 13, 14 years later, but it's a great movie. Do check it out. The, the Dark Knight, okay, Blu-ray spectacular. Check it out, seriously. I do love it, and uh, the film's great as well, seriously. A little violent at times, yes, but it's still a great movie. So I've enjoyed that. That's a few, few of the best movies I've ever seen in my life, seriously. Get those Blu-ray out, seriously. Want to check out Blu-ray or visual? Get yourself a 4K television, set, Get yourself a really good player. Get yourself a PS4. Get some plug in the blue 4K or regular Blu-rays into that. Blu-ray's really brilliant to say. 4K is an expensive hobby to have, seriously. You can't afford 4K. Get yourself regular Blu-rays like these Blu-rays. You will not be disappointed, seriously, okay? Even if, even if you're watching on your PS4, if you're watching on your regular Blu-ray player, with a 4K TV, you're going you're gonna to have a great experience in this movie, seriously. Audio and visual is really amazing, seriously, okay? There are many, many channels talking about this sort of stuff, so I won't go on to too much, but I hope you get that kind of enjoyment out of that. And also, please remember to... Um, as I say, uh, have a think about what you know, what you want to see. Seriously, maybe more videos going out about this sort of stuff. I do love blogging and blogging about this kind of stuff. Seriously, audiovisual. I hope this helps you if you're looking to increase your Blu-ray collection. Seriously, if you're not into streaming and want to have hardcore, real, solid media, good idea to have it. Seriously, you want to have real solid media kind of films, these proper solid kind of Blu-rays. You know, it's really good to have these, aren't they? In your collection, when they're having it all on Netflix, isn't it? Really good stuff. Hope you enjoy that, okay? Remember, please do. Remember, please, uh, uh, please do like and subscribe. Please do like, subscribe, and have me on the channel. Please do, okay? We do a lot of magic illusion chat, blog and blog as well. Plus, also magic illusions. Well. So I'm a magician, as you probably know as well. Seriously, I've got eight videos. As I've made eight videos of magic chat illusions. So just check, check the video, please do. Please remember to click links below for 80 videos of magic chat illusions. So seriously, okay, I've made eight your videos. So I'm going to try and get the channel up and up and up, as, as, as you know, to try and boost the channel even more, bring the magic and illusion of video content as well for you, seriously, okay? Have you enjoyed that, okay? Look after yourselves during the pandemic, so you can get better, seriously, get your jab as well, if you can get your jab seriously for the COVID-19, please try and get your jabs in, okay? Let's get rid of this virus, okay? And make 20
2021 a lot better, okay? Anyway, look after yourselves, okay? I hope this helps you out with uh, this kind of stuff. Check out the, the other videos of Magic as well. Loads of Magic on other videos. Please check them out on my channel, Magic Mike 122. In the meantime, look after yourselves. See you again very soon. Some more Magic Chat vlogs, vlogs about media, TV, and uh, Magic Illusions. See you later on.